Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have a very interesting problem to solve here. Given our arc cosecant, we were supposed to find a derivative. Now, this is one of the messiest one. Uh, cosecant inverse of u, if you take derivative here, it's actually equal to u prime with a minus sign. Um, one, it's actually u squared minus one. Okay, the secant inverse and cosecant inverse is missing by a minus sign. Same thing happens for sine inverse and cosine inverse. And they're also for the pair that's tangent inverse and cotangent inverse. So I'm not sure if this one is required to be memorized, but um, over the years it come with experience. All right, so let's get started. Y prime is equal to minus, okay, so let's get this form in here, minus nine. Okay, times u is 3 over x, okay, 3 over x absolute value, and then we have 3 over x squared minus 1, and then we're going to take 3 over x derivative. Okay, so first thing all I did is I put it in the form I needed, so treating this one as a u, and I plugged in pretty much everything else along with it. Let's simplify it a little bit. So I have minus 27 over x, absolute value of 3 over x. Uh, this one is going to be 9 over x squared minus 1. The derivative of this one is 3 times 3 over x. Let's treat it as 3 to the minus 1. Okay. And then, then 3 times minus 1 x to the minus 2. Okay, now technically we're done. It looks pretty messy, but mathematically this is all we're going to have. Okay, now let's simplify it slowly. Let's see what we end up with. Minus 27 over x. I'm going to leave it there. I have a minus 3x to the minus 2. Okay, divided by, just going to leave this one with the absolute value the way it is. I am going to make this one a common denominator. Okay. So far so good. Let's see, that's I have minus 27 over x, which is really times x to the f minus 1, to minus 3, x to the minus 2. So now I can combine that chunk over here. I have a 3 absolute of x, because 3 is always positive. I don't really have to worry about that one. And then on the top, I have 9 minus x squared and on the bottom, I have this one as well. Okay. So I have minus 27, uh, 3, that's a 81, that's a positive, x to the minus 3, divided by 3 radical 9 minus x squared. I'm going to divide it by x squared, basically. Because I have an absolute value x, absolute value x, if they're positive, x squared is going to force them to be positive. So I have 81 and 3 cancels. I have a 27, okay, x to the minus 3, divided by radical 9 minus x squared, uh, let's see, times x squared. The reason is I'm going to multiply basically reciprocal of this chunk here. Okay. So now I have 27 over 9 minus x squared, and then I have x on top. Okay. It's a pretty messy one here. Um, let's see, anything else I want to review? Not much. You know, this formula, it's a standalone, so when you take the chain rules, be careful. Uh, 3 to the minus x is treated this way. And then from here, on the exam, if you run out of time, stop right there. Because most people will take maybe one or two points away, not much. So if you have time, simplify. But like I said, if, if you don't have time, run out of time, stop right over here. You would have got probably 90% of the points. Okay? Hope this helped. Have a confident day.